Manual gearboxes have an easy way to synchronize RPM of input and output shaft. This will be illustrated in this animation with reference to a simple two-speed transmission that is synchronized according to the often used Borg Warner system. First of all, let's look at the synchronizer hub. It is tightly fitted to the shaft. The hub has recesses for three struts. The struts are pushed outwards by two ring springs against a shift sleeve. The shift sleeve comes with teeth cut into the inside diameter and recesses for three struts. Thus, it is possible to move the struts to the left and to the right with the shift sleeve. Furthermore, blocker rings are necessary. They often consist of a special brass alloy and have grooves for oil guidance. There are also recesses in the blocker ring for the struts. The friction lining is designed in a conical shape. Thus, the blocker ring and the conical face of the gear form a cone clutch that can be engaged and disengaged through sliding. Let's now look in detail at how the synchronization proceeds. The shift sleeve rotates according to the speed of the vehicle, since the hub is connected to the wheels of the vehicle through the shaft. The struts move the blocker rings. For now, the gears are being unaffected by this. The driver can move the shift sleeve axially and thus push the three struts against the blocker ring. This creates friction between the blocker ring and the conical surface of the gear. As a consequence, the gear rotates at approximately the same speed as the blocker ring. This process is called pre-synchronization and shown here from different angles. Through further displacement of the shift sleeve by the driver, the struts are then pressed downwards and exert no more pressure on the blocker ring. However, the tooth flanks of the shift sleeve now collide with the tooth flanks of the blocker ring. In this respect, the shift sleeve exerts the necessary pressure on the blocker ring so that the cone clutch is engaged and the rotational speed is further adjusted. Only when the shift sleeve and the blocker ring have the same rotational speed, the shift sleeve can align the blocker ring. The blocker ring teeth then come into alignment and the sleeve slides over them and into engagement without grinding. This system is referred to as a blocker ring synchromesh unit.